Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Out of the many aircrafts showcased at Chinese Air Show 2021, the J-16D Electronic Warfare Fighter is one which should be major concern for the Indian Air Force. China has developed this in the lines of Boeing's famous EA-18G Growler. While we can keep arguing about its quality, we must give credit to China for thinking ahead about their futuristic warfare and develop such technologies. Battle domain of air has shifted towards the electromagnetic spectrum. The Air Force, which is able to manage and dominate the electromagnetic spectrum, will win the war. This is where the fighters like EA-18G and J-16D comes into the picture. They have four primary roles. First, detect the electronic emissions. This could be a ship radar, a SAM radar, or even emissions from a cruise missile. Second, jam the electronic emissions. It can jam everything what it sees. Third, fool the enemy sensors. There are various methods to present enemy sensors with spoofing emissions. For example, two EA-18G can make themselves appear like entire strike package of aircraft. Fourth, attack radars. It can attack ship or SAM defense system with anti-radiation missiles like the HARM and AARGM. There are also some options for frying electronics with jamming. Talking about J-16D, it is equipped with four jamming pods under its wing and air inlets as well as two missiles under its belly, in addition to two electronic warfare pods on the wingtips. Talking about EA-18G, it is fitted with two ALQ-218 V2 wingtip pods with a wide band receiver and selective reactive jamming capability. Two ALQ-99 low band and high band jammer pods fitted under the wings the tactical jamming system can intercept, process and jam signals received from enemy radar and communication systems. Antenna on board the aircraft includes a satellite communication antenna and communication countermeasure sets antenna which transmits signal through the low band ALQ-99 jammer pod. Indian Air Force has a very powerful platform which is Su-30 MKIs and it can be converted into an electronic attack aircraft. Known for its super maneuverability, weapon package and a powerful BARS PS radar, the jet remains invisible in the air. If one has to modify Su-30 MKIs for EW role, you need two jammer pods at wingtip, two high band jammer pods and one low band jammer pods similar to the configuration of EA-18G. Next, it will need an advanced radar warning receiver, SATCOM antenna, and communication countermeasure sets CCS antenna. Since it is an electronic warfare aircraft, it needs to carry an anti radiation missile like Rudram 1 and optionally Astra MK1 for BVR combat. Now, if we talk about jamming pods, Su 30 MKI is operating Russian SAP 512 pods which are extremely powerful, but their weight reduces the payload capacity of Su-30 MKIs. Instead, Air Force can also use Israeli Elta ELL-8222, which is much lighter in weight. At the same time, it has indigenous options as well. DARE has developed a high-band jammer HBJ pod for Su-30 MKI aircraft to be carried at wing tips. The new indigenous pod is expected to have better integration with RWR on board than the Russian SAP 518 pods. DARE has also started working on advanced self-protection jammer ASPJ, which will feature Galenium nitride-based solid-state active electronically scanned array AESA jammer transmitters along with digital radio frequency memory TRFM. The DRFM jammers are known for severely degrading adversaries, radars, and missile seekers. ASPJ is going to be a single pod unlike HBJ, which is a dual pod system integrated at the wing tips of the Su-30 MKIs. This pod is going to be the next generation pod for upcoming 4.5th 
and fifth generation fighters of Indian Air Force. At present, Su-30 MKI can carry two HVJ at wing tips and two Israeli Elta ELL-8222 under the wings. Talking about radar warning receiver, DARE has further enhanced its RWR with the development of Druti, which is a better digital RWR platform. Indian Air Force is planning to integrate all its Su-30 MKIs with Druti RWR. The project for the purchase of 125 TRWR118 has been planned by Air Force. Druti is a six-channel digital RWR and not only offers a wide dynamic range and large bandwidth of detection, but also offers good sensitivity, selectivity, and wide instantaneous bandwidth. Druti even works fine with Russian SAP 518 jammers without causing any interference in its working. Next is anti-radiation missiles and we know that Su-30 MKI has successfully test-fired Rudram-1 last year and its further trials are still planned. In summary, Su-30 MKIs can perform the role of electronic attack fighter with two HPJ, two Israeli Elta el l Su-3 RWR and Rudram anti-radiation missile. Su-30 MKIs use COM 1150A UHF standby comms radio, UHF SATCOM receiver and the STR2010 4 channel software defined radio working in VHF and UHF and L band of voice and data communication. In summary, Indian Air Force has all the required hardware to convert its Su-30 MK platform into a proper electronic attack fighter. However, some work and trials may be needed to integrate, test the functioning and performance of fighter with all these EW components integrated. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.